Hey everybody, welcome back. We're on Monopolis part four. This time we got Monopolis making losses. Now the goal is, or the hope is, at this point you're getting the graph down. So I'm gonna move quickly on drawing the graph, okay? We just wanna show a Monopolis making losses. It's pretty straightforward. At this point, we feel comfortable drawing a downward sloping demand curve because the, the demand curve the Monopolis faces is the market demand curve. They're one and the same. We go ahead and we draw our MR curve. It's splitting away. We're still assuming no price discrimination. And if that's the assumption, these two curves are different. That's twice the slope. We go ahead and we put our MC curve in. I forgot my red marker. I'm gonna jump out of frame like Marco Rubio and jump right back in, okay? Red marker for MC. We're gonna draw the MC curve right there. MC, MR intersecting right at that dot. At that dot, we get Q. But since I'm doing making losses, I'm not going to put Q profit max. I'm going to put Q loss min. This is what we're going to produce. We're going to produce that amount. I just guarantee it. That's where losses are minimized. Okay, We're going to produce as long as MR is above MC. But once they're equal, we're going to stop. Because if we produce past that point, okay, MC greater than MR. MC greater than MR for any other good. So don't produce it. What's the price? Price is based on the demand curve. So we go right to there, draw it over. I'm gonna put price monopolist right there. Okay, we're almost there. Now, in this particular one, since we're drawing losses, and this isn't a bad thing to do in all these kind of theory of the firm graphs, is if you go to that quantity, which is loss min or profit max, this little dash line, if you want to, you can just dash it all the way up. I kind of think it's a good thing to do, and it's going to help me when I'm doing losses. Because here's the key. When I do losses, I want to make sure the ATC value, okay, the ATC value is above price when I hit that Q, okay, when I hit this quantity. So my ATC line, downward sloping all the way to MC, downward sloping all the way to MC, then upward sloping. There's ATC. What's the dot that's important? Right there. This is my average total cost, this vertical distance, okay, measured in dollars per unit. This is my average total cost at that level of output. So I bring this over, ATC. Well, if my average total cost, okay, at the per unit level, of course, because I am at the per unit level, is greater than my per unit revenue. If my cost that I'm, if my average cost that I'm getting per unit is greater than my per unit revenue, which is the price, I'm making losses. How many losses? That's my loss per unit, that vertical distance between price and ATC. How much am I producing? All the way to quantity. So this, actually let me go ahead and use this, kind of fill this right in. So right there, that rectangle, is going to be our losses, okay? That's our losses. In fact, I think we often say we're in the red right there, so let me use some red right there. Those are our losses. And that's it. That's all there is to doing losses. Make sure you put that ATC on. Make sure that where ATC hits the output level, you're above price, and make sure you use that dot for ATC. Don't use this dot, okay? Use that one right there. Hopefully that helped. We'll see you in the next video.